Hey guys, I wanted to show you this super cool repo I found called GPT Engineer that's been blown up on GitHub recently. So this is a really cool project. It's basically an agent that can create entire software programs for you. And I've tested it out on a couple of different things. So I want to walk you through kind of how to set, how to get it set up and how to build some applications. So it's a fairly new project and it's got some limitations of course, but it's pretty, it's pretty cool. So first you need to clone it, just do git clone and then the name of the repo. You're gonna need to install the dependencies as well and add your OpenAI API key. If you just follow these steps in the repo, it should be pretty straightforward. The way you edit it is there's a file that has the main prompt, which you can edit. So let's run some of these commands to get going. So what this does is this is going to create a new folder for us. So let's run that here in the terminal. Okay, awesome. That worked. And then we're going to need to run that. Actually, we're going to need to edit the main prompt that was added in here. So this is just the, the example that they gave us. We're going to do something in JavaScript. Let's say we are writing a landing page for a SaaS business. Okay, I used uh, I used that yeah to write the rest of this. I used the GitHub Copilot. We want to make sure that the user understands the value proposition of the product and is able to sign up for a free trial. We also want to make sure that the, now we want to erase, this is too complicated, it's not going to work. We want to use HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. Okay, so this is our main prompt. It's pretty basic, let's give it a try and see what it comes up with. The results vary, but let's just go ahead and test it out. And I got this from the readme as well, this is just running the main file. and. Let's see if this works. So if you've used something like AutoGPT or Baby AGI, you'll sort of recognize what it's doing here. It's basically first coming up with the objective and then coming up with the features, the list of features that it needs. And then after it comes up with that list of features, it's then gonna execute and write code for each feature. And the way that this library, I mean, the way that this open source project works is quite genius. Basically, it the open AI, AI output that has markdown that is written to a file and you can see here what it's doing is it's creating a file called index.html it's putting in this code and that code is going directly into our workspace file folder and this program can access previous output by using the file system everything is added to a file and it has access to the file system so it can see what I did previously. So let's just keep scrolling. It's running some JavaScript, it's running some CSS. So all of this is based on GPT-4 output. And so it's gonna probably take a couple of minutes to finish running. So in the meantime, I'm briefly gonna show you the code. Not all of it, but it's, it's pretty straightforward and there's not a lot, so. GPT engineer is the main is the main Python file that so has all the logic and the main file is main.py. You can see it's using GPT-4 here. And again, like I talked about here, the database is actually just a file system. And this part is the important part that you kind of want to edit and play around with, the identity folder. So basically this has the prompt the different prompts for for the messages. So you can sort of play around with these. I've edited them to make them more JavaScript friendly and make it a little bit more functional instead of class-based. This is going to sound pretty based, but I've also gotten rid of all the tests just because we don't want that extra code. It kind of clutters it up. So you, you can edit these files to basically change the messages that are going into the GPT-4 prompt. So this is still running. I'm going to fast forward till when it's done and show you the application that it came up with. All right, so it's basically done running and the program is now asking us if we want to install the dependencies and execute the code. And this actually looks okay, so we're just gonna click, we're just gonna type yes. 
And so it's installing the Node.js dependencies. And then it says the server is running at this port, which let's check that out. Okay, so this is what it made. So obviously this landing page is something that a very junior developer would probably come up with. But let's go look at it. Discover the benefits of our amazing SaaS product. Start your free trial, features and benefits, privacy policy, terms of service, contact us. So let's see what happens when we click this. Okay, that is cool actually. Uh, wow, I was not expecting that. Let's see what happens when we click this. All right, let's make up a password. Error signing up, please try again. Okay, interesting. It puts some validation logic there. Uh, okay, this does not work. And that doesn't work either. I'm guessing this also does not work. Okay, that also does not work. Okay, but that's a cool start. So let's actually look at the code that it wrote. The code's gonna be in my new project. And it's gonna be in workspace. So this is all the code that it wrote. Let's take a look first at the server folder. Okay, so that's awesome. It's listening on port 3000. Okay, let's look at our index.html. Okay, awesome, our main.js. Okay, this all looks good. Okay, awesome. Very cool. And it also made a memory folder. The memory folder is basically logs of the different results from GPT-4 that came out of the, uh, out of the API calls. So you can go through those and you can actually run them again and the instructions for doing that are in the GitHub repo. So yeah, obviously it's a, it's, it's, it's this product, this, this project is, is pretty cool. It cannot produce reliable results. That's one of the downsides. It does not work well with frameworks like React or Next.js. It can do simple things like make these like single page, simple applications. It can also set up like a server and do some like web scraping applications. But that's the, about the extent that I've tried working with it. It also has some benchmark examples. These are what you can use to test to see like the how, how, how reliable it is. It's got a currency converter, file explorer, and image resizer. I haven't tried any of these. I've just created my own, a landing page and a scraper, which seem to work all right. So yeah, check out this project. Let me know what you think. It's a pretty cool, it's a pretty cool thing to see. GPT-4 write an entire program, even if it is pretty basic. So yeah, hopefully you enjoyed that.